Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Engineers at universities in two U.S. states are developing a tiny device that will be able to detect cancer at its earliest and most treatable stage. The device is a nanoprobe sensor being developed by professors and students at the University of Alabama in Huntsville in collaboration with scientists at the Joint School of Nanoscience and Nanoengineering in North Carolina. The probe is so small, it must be assembled using an electron microscope. It can be customized to detect biomarkers of not just cancer, but virtually any condition. The UAH team is currently seeking funding to further develop the nanoprobe. They hope to package it as part of a portable diagnostic kit, which would allow doctors to use it to perform tests on patients without even needing to send blood samples to a lab. Tests could be performed immediately at the patient's bedside. Dr. Yongbin Lin, who has been leading the development of the device at UAH, estimates that with proper funding, the probe and the portable diagnostic kit could be a reality within three to five years. Next up, researchers at The Ohio State University have created the world's first rechargeable solar battery. Solar panels are already capable of charging external batteries. The innovation of this new device, which is described in a study published in the journal Nature Communications, is to combine the solar panel and the battery in a single, self-contained device. This virtually eliminates the loss that occurs when electricity generated by a solar panel is transferred to an external battery. The device includes innovations beyond its all-in-one design. Because the device incorporates a lithium-air battery that requires oxygen to operate, the designers had to invent a new kind of solar panel. They came up with a solar panel made of titanium mesh coated in rust, which is capable of both capturing sunlight and allowing air to pass freely in and out of the battery. The OSU team is currently working to extend the battery life. They predict that eventually their solar cell will have a life comparable to that of other rechargeable batteries currently on the market. And finally, a team of engineers at Drexel University may be about to radically change the way biologists look at cells. Since cells were discovered by Robert Hooke over 300 years ago, scientists have mostly studied them two-dimensionally, using microscopes. Now, a team of researchers at Drexel University's College of Engineering in Philadelphia are developing software which can create graphic representations of live cells and allow scientists to study them in 3D. When paired with a special projector and a set of 3D gaming glasses, the software allows scientists to virtually enter the microscopic world of the actual cells they are studying, enabling them to observe cell division and how cells interact with one another in a way that was never possible before. The Drexel team hopes to eventually make the software available as a free, open-source research tool for anyone who needs it. A new nanoprobe could detect cancer and other diseases at their earliest stages. Researchers build the world's first self-contained, rechargeable solar battery, and engineers develop new software that allows scientists to study cells up close and in 3D. That's the good news. You like when I hold you like this? <laughs> it's like I'm serving you to the people.